I'm Dave, and this is Austin Eats. You all know that I live in Texas, and with all the videos that I've done, something always felt like it was missing, and I couldn't put my finger on what it was. And then it occurred to me, I haven't done a varmint video. Well, we're going to fix that right now. I thought this video was going to begin with me jumping in the truck and going out and looking for a roadkill. But as luck would have it, that did not have to happen. Because just a little while ago, an armadillo moseyed right on into my yard. And I caught him just before he pooped in my pool. There he is. Come here, Mr. Dillo. Come here. Ain't he just scrumptious looking? Oh, I am feeling armadillo tacos right now. There are a lot of folks around here who don't like cooking an armadillo. They just can't get through the tough body armor. Well, it's just not that hard. All you need to do is get yourself a little hammer and a small crowbar and a good pair of kitchen shears. Everything's bigger in Texas. I'm here to tell you that armadillo meat can be tougher than an old cowboy boot. But we're going to fix that. We're going to braise him low and slow, oh, say for about 12 hours. And then we're going to tear the meat apart, pull the meat apart, and then we're going to fry that up with just some sea salt and pepper. Now, in making armadillo tacos, we can't just take that meat and slap it in a tortilla and call it a taco. That would be disrespectful to this animal. Nope. That means we're going to make hard shell tacos. Let's get cooking. Now we're gonna fry these boys up for about two minutes, and then we have armadillo tacos. Mmm. Mm, those look good. Now, before y'all start sending me your negative comments, let me assure you that no armadillo was actually hurt in the making of this video. In fact, the armadillo featured in this video isn't even from Texas. He's from Amazon. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, let me know and please subscribe. We just might have more varmint videos right around the corner. See you next time on Austin Eats.